What's up guys, Average Kiwi Guy here, how are y'all doing? So BlizzCon's going on at the moment, and one of the big things to come out of the opening ceremonies and stuff, and there's been a panel on it as well, uh, is Warcraft 3 Reforged. Um, honestly, this was the thing that got me most excited. Um, you know, I have been looking at, you know, playing Warcraft 3. Um, I just, I struggle with the old games. I do, I struggle with the old games, the old uh, bloody polygon freaking things and stuff like I, I do struggle with it um now warcraft 3 with the rts is a little less that way but now that i know that there is a re a, uh, a remaster coming for it and of what i've seen of it is very impressive i'm probably gonna wait till that because it looks very very good um so warcraft 3 it's 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 a very massively important game it's insane how much has come out of warcraft 3 i mean dota came out of warcraft 3 which then set up freaking mobas in general um freaking you know then you look at wow came out of warcraft 3 you know all this so much stuff came out of warcraft 3 it was insane um so to have it get remastered and get the love and attention and stuff to bring it back into the light is is, is fantastic um so there was a panel uh sort of you know breaking down what uh how it's going to work and what's coming and stuff like that so first up it is 30 bucks 30 bucks apparently uh pre-order right now and you get like extra stuff for all the other blizzard uh ips as well um you get a mount for wow which is like a, a meat wagon or something and it's like got a catapult and stuff so that's kind of cool um they also went into some detail on like how it's gonna work what's the thing stuff about the custom map editors which are huge um for warcraft 3 and from people that i know that are like on the ground over there uh who's managed to play it um because there was a demo for it um which is like i think the the culling of Stratholme or something which is like one of the, the big moments of the game um they said it was amazing so um we'll get we'll we'll talk about it and we'll, we'll we'll get excited for it and stuff like that so some of the big highlights of the um of the panel and stuff and that, and that happened was that they kind of went into like why they're doing it and how after starcraft um you know they understand the importance of like kind of preserving these games and you know getting a new you know the new blood into it you know like because there's a lot of people like myself who came into wow later but i still interested in that story and still interested in where this all came from i think will be is you know that that's a, it's a, a great thing to have this stuff come in um so apparently they did say that the engine the main engine that the game uses is the 2001 version but with modern art and extra systems and added it as it is a new layer to it so they've like kind of just buffed it up they buffed up that engine and given it a bit a bit more juice so uh that's cool so at least that's cool because then you know like you're going to get the similar you know things will, will will behave similarly so the people that have played the game know the game and know it inside out like that that will have that familiarity to it um i honestly thought they were going to use like either the starcraft you know the starcraft 2 hot uh heroes of the storm engine that type of thing um yeah because because the games are somewhat similar but no they 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 stuck with the original one and just just gave it a freaking update and boosted it up and of what i saw of what i saw of the stuff and what i saw of the um you know the 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 cut scenes and stuff of what they were showing it looked very very good it looked very very good so um i, I was very impressed um like even the, the models themselves like i thought like okay they'll probably take you know a lot of the the models from you know maybe like hearts or something like that and put them in and make them work that way or like or something like that but no they they legit look like you know the versions that they were there they're just far more detailed now and they got the, the actual shape to them and jaina doesn't look insanely out of proportion let's just say so um yeah it was it was very cool uh to see that um also said uh all the new tools they use to draw the new models and stuff like that can also be used by the community as well which is which is which was awesome that's that's fantastic to do so everything that we that you can they, that they did to bring the game up to date you can do as well to the thing so i'm i'm i think they understand 
that means that you know people with custom maps and stuff like that from warcraft 3 and all that could bring it over to warcraft uh 3 reforged and basically their, their maps they can update them to that standard which is super cool super super cool like I, I, it's gonna be very very interesting to see what comes out of this game like just from the custom map stuff because i mean you see like what people can do with the old one like and all this crazy um maps and different things that you can do with it and all the different um adventures and stuff like there's lord of the ring stuff pokemon stuff like it's, it's insane what's on there um so if those things can go to a newer version and run just as well and have all the cool stuff to to modify it and all the rest of it that's awesome it's super cool and that's that's more content that's more content that's just user-based content which is which is quite nice um so i, I like that a lot uh it will be on the bnet launcher it's actually already on there so if you go to your bnet launcher now you will see uh warcraft 3 reforged uh there um so that that's you know that's good that means like you don't have to like go through the separate things and like i know um they also said that you don't have to open up uh different ports you know <laughs> when you want to use the custom maps um because that was always a thing that you had to do was open up to uh, certain ports and stuff and it was it was a bit of a mess to try and get it to work so now it's just a lot more simplified a lot more you know just it, w it works a lot better now which is something that i think a lot of people will be very happy about um uh like all the animations and stuff are all the same all the attack swings all the, the all the all this st gameplay stuff is still exactly the same and i think that's why they wanted to use that same engine and just give it like just a, a full overhaul was um you know they wanted to keep all that stuff the same and you know for the people that played the game so much uh that they'll, they'll get that chance so that that's super cool uh, one thing i didn't see is if they are going to do the dlc and stuff like that because it's like frozen throne and all that so i wonder are they going to be doing that stuff as well um maybe that'll be later on down the line like there'll be additional content that comes along um i don't i'm not sure i'm not sure on that but i gotta say like i'm super excited i'm super excited for this one this one was like the thing that got me most excited um when watching the opening ceremonies and stuff and all the rest of it like it was the highlight of the announcements um which a lot of people said was very sad but i think a lot of people have been waiting for this for a while a lot of people are waiting for um a warcraft 3 remaster or at least a warcraft 2 um so it's it's cool that blizzard's doing this it is cool that blizzard's doing this and i think they they understand that blizzard fans are very nostalgic in a way so they're like like we might as well um play into that a little bit um and they're very protective of those those the older games as well so it's good that they're doing it in a way that feels faithful to it and they really want they really want it to feel make you feel like the game you played back in 2001 is the same game just it just looks better and it and it, it, it just you know is more convenient and it just has you know the the more modern um you know com you know life conveniences and stuff you know it just has like that that sort of easiness of being a little bit more modern um but still has that charm of what warcraft 3 was so no i'm i'm very very um very impressed um they say like they're going to try and balance the heroes but they got to do it slowly so it doesn't break the game and they, they, there's a lot of things there they got to they got to work out um from guys i know that are over in blizzcon they said it felt very polished like it felt very very good um the the demo they got to play now does that mean they just got that demo done and that was like their thing and now they got to go off and do the rest of the game or not see that will depend on when the game comes out um this they just said 2019 they said 2019 there wasn't anything like you know, what what time throughout 2019 would be um because we know uh classic comes out in summer 2019 so it depend on where blizzard wants to put it you know um i'm sure they will find a competitor 
with something that's coming out around the similar time that they would like to, you know, impede upon. That generally is how Blizzard works. They're very good at finding someone with something big going on and they'll go, all right, we're going to put a launch right there. Yep, right there. Because that's what Blizzard does. Um, so we'll, we'll see on that. We'll see. But um, nah, it was super cool to see it. Like when the, the cinematic trailer came up and I was like, Wait, I've seen this trailer before. I've seen this trailer before. It's freaking Warcraft 3. Because, I mean, I haven't played it fully through. But I've I've seen, like, all the, all the major cutscenes and stuff like that. And I kind of know the way the game works and stuff. And it's like... To see that was super cool. I mean, that's from me. That's from someone who's not really connected to the game. In a way, a lot of people are. Like, a lot of people, like, this is their favorite game of all time. So, I can only imagine how exciting it was to a lot of people to see it. Getting that remastered. It'd be like me get seeing a, a remaster of Ace Combat 5 or something like that. Or KOTOR. Like, if, if a co freaking remaster of KOTOR, my goodness, I'd flip the fuck out. Seriously. So, I, I that's what I, I compare it to. So, no, it, it's very cool to see. And I am excited for it. Because, you know, it, it, it will to experience that story and experience it in that way and you know the day the to see it in a more modern way will be super cool so came among us. very awesome yeah all right guys that's it for us thank you very much for watching i appreciate it um i'm all over blizzcon just checking out everything seeing what's going on um i am gonna also be checking out uh wow classic uh just to give it a go you know kind of a you know, I started well uh, in just before Legion, so this will be like a big shock to me to see like what WoW Classic WoW Vanilla was like. So that'll be fun. Uh, so we're gonna be checking that out as well. Uh, but yeah, we'll be uh, uh, tons of videos coming out for um, BlizzCon just over the weekend and stuff. So if you are interested in checking them all out, hit the subscribe button. It's an easy way to keep track of it all, and I'd appreciate it. Yeah. Alright guys, catch us later. Peace. Bye.